everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and today we're going to be talking about bullying. How to recognise bullying, the different types of bullying, and how to show safe and active bystander behaviour. Being prepared is important, but first we need to understand the issue and what to look out for. I'm going to be using some PowerPoint slides from this Twinkle resource to talk about it. I'll drop a link to that in the description below. So first of all, what is bullying? Physical bullying can range from shoving and pushing someone to more severe issues like hitting and kicking. It's often more obvious to other people as it may leave bruises or visible damage and people may see it happening. Verbal bullying means calling someone names, saying nasty things to someone or threatening them. Verbal bullying is not always easy to see as it can be done more secretly and doesn't leave visible marks. However, it does damage people's feelings and emotions and is very harmful. If someone is being mean like this and it's happening over and over again, this is called bullying. However, bullying can also be indirect. For example, leaving people out of groups or games, gossiping or talking about people behind their back. If you're not bullying anybody yourself, but you're there when it's happening and you see it happen, you're what is called a bystander. As a bystander, you have the potential to make a difference to a bullying situation. For a person who's getting bullied, having someone who cares enough to help is a really big deal as bullying can make you feel quite alone. Standing up for someone as a bystander is not always easy though. You could be scared of retaliation or getting bullied yourself. You may be afraid of getting a friend in trouble or even scared of getting hurt. But there are lots of choices you can make and different ways that you can intervene in a safe and effective way. For example, if you see bullying, tell someone you trust, like a parent, teacher or an older relative. If you make sure that somebody knows what you have seen, then they can help deal with it. You can also offer support to the person getting bullied. For example, if they're being excluded, include them, talk to them and use the opportunity to be kind. This is something that can be brainstormed in class as the best way to respond to a bullying situation really varies depending on the situation. Twinkle have some resources to help with this, like bullying scenario discussion cards. Discussing safe and helpful ways to react to these situations in a safe space can help prepare learners if they encounter such situations in the future. There are also worksheets, posters, and all kinds of activities to help young people reflect on bullying and how they can play their part in preventing it. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.